So I'm Helena Rice, I'm an electronic music producer and AV artist uh, and I work very closely with a designer called Franny Anthony who's working with us remotely today. Um, and a lot of the work that we do kind of pushes the intersection of music, art and technology. Uh, so we're always excited um, every time we produce a new material to look at innovation. Um, I first met Target 3D last year. I was playing a gig in Newcastle and one of the guys from one of the connected studios in Gateshead uh, came to say hello and then uh, we kind of got talking. Uh, and we've been talking about this project for a little while now. And uh, so I was so excited to see what the possibilities of Gaussian Splat were uh, in terms of taking a kind of a volumetric capture where we're not only able just to take um, stills of people in 360, um, but also to take sequences of actual action in 360. It's really pushing the boundaries that what we're trying to achieve here is something that's truly immersive for, for the audience. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm Ashley Keeler, head of studio here at Studio T3D. We're, we're, we're kind of blessed here at, at Target 3D with having all of the technologies to play with under one roof. And that gives us the opportunity to integrate and come up with new pipelines and get involved in exciting projects like this one. So firstly, we can use the mesh and texture information from the volumetric system and we can combine that with the skeletal tracking information so that we can relight that data, so that we can add shadows in that's typically very difficult to do volumetrically, so that we can start to really play with uh, overlays on the texture and mesh information and, and bringing full CG elements into what is otherwise kind of a video-based pipeline. Hi, my name's Anna. I work at Target 3D as a production assistant, production coordinator, and as a part-time kind of in-house performer. So for this shoot, I was the performer and choreographer. And I think I've always really enjoyed immersing myself in technology and being part of the technical process as well as the creative process, because I think then when you choreograph with the technology in mind, it just, um, your, the way you think about the movement changes and uh, I think n the more you know about the technology obviously the more you can incorporate that into the cho um, choreographic process. I think the great thing about this is that you start to, you're able to expand the physical body, right? If you're just on stage with bodies, I mean, and don't get me wrong, that's great, but there are limitations, like I, I can't fly. There is no, there is gravity, there's physics, um, there's only so much the most talented body can do. And I think when you bring in technology and um, capturing and volumetric capture and then putting it into Unreal, it just expands what you can do with the movement. And I think especially when the way I work, where I know these, this process and I, and I know what can be done, to then think about what kind of movement do I want to do and then what's the next step, how do I translate this movement and take it further. Um, it's just, a, the possibilities are endless. My name is Aimone and I'm the R&D engineer here at Target 3D and uh, I sort of put together this new workflow to generate these animated Gaussian splats, uh, which is a different technique compared to volumetric capture. Uh, it's able to recreate uh, uh, people, subjects in a different way. It's a new paradigm in computer graphics capable to capture also uh, reflections, transparency, something that with other techniques is not that obvious. What's very exciting is that uh, once you capture, you never know exactly how it's going to end up being, especially if, you t if we're talking about Gaussian splatting, we are still in a very, you know, um, it's a new phase. Uh, there are many people around the world experimenting and there, is, there are still a lot of questions to, 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 to crack, to solve. And today with this project, we try to 
uh, to explore these uncharted waters without knowing exactly where we going to end up. <laughs> uh, and it's great to have people like Alina embracing the unknown, embracing, uh, you know, this uncertainty that at the end of the day end up in being something, end up in being something that push, you know, the boundaries farther. What's happening now is we've turned half the lights off, so this is actually you know, more impactful than it sounds because um, the less light that's in the space, it's harder for someone for the technology to unite all the different camera points. But with the test that we did earlier, it's actually looking good to do that. Uh, so yeah, so looking forward to seeing the results. <laughs> uh, I'm Freni Anthony, the visual artist and designer on this project. It's been amazing working with Target 3D to experiment with 4D collision splats. They really had a good technical basis for it and I built on it to figure out ways to use the captured data. The tech is so new that there aren't many resources out there, so we had to figure things out as we went along. From a creative perspective, Gaussian splatting opens up possibilities that traditional live action shoot just can't achieve. For example, I can take Anna's performances and add new dimensions are using dynamic camera movements, freeze frames, or even creating multiple versions of her in the same scene. It's a whole new way to blend the real and the digital worlds. Okay, so this is what I got. Okay. Okay. So Anna is very, very dark, but if I look at the source materials also in here, she's very, very dark. So the moment we introduce some lighting, we should get a little bit of information on her. And now, little by little, we will be able to recreate the, the splat. Okay. Um, yeah, so my name's Sam Kagan. I'm a systems engineer here, which means I basically uh, look after all the systems and operate on all the systems on shoots. What's the benefits of using the markerless motion capture systems as opposed to more traditional based marker systems? Uh, well, you don't have to put on a suit for markerless. You can literally um, just drag on the skeleton and then it will kind of automatically track. I mean, that dramatically decreases the setup time, just, just that alone. I'm super grateful to the Target 3D team who've been amazingly supportive of uh, this project and I'm really looking forward to presenting this uh, in the autumn. So there's Amsterdam Dance Event in October uh, and I've also been selected for MUTEC Japan which will take place in Tokyo um, where we'll be presenting this on a huge LED screen uh, at Shibuya O East uh, which is a fantastic venue. Uh, so I'm super looking forward to, to doing that because for me, you know, MUTEC is a real apex of um, the interaction between uh, music technology and visual technology. As Target 3D, our, our, our remit is to sell, distribute and, and kind of bring people along on the journey with these new technologies. But for us to really feel confident that we can talk about these technologies and where they fit in the world, um, we, we like to try and work on creative projects so, and work with uh, creative teams to, to really push the boundaries of what's being done with these technologies and that gives us the confidence to be able to understand what the pros and cons of different technologies are, where they fit, where they don't, where, where they create problems, where they solve problems. Um, and so getting to work with Helena on this is really exciting because we can push those envelopes and see if we can create something really Beautiful. You're pretty good. This is, this is what it's like being an Avenger. I reckon you've got to pull a tiny bit. Yeah, that looks good to me. Okay. Liam, you ready? Yeah. And action.